Hello and welcome to the short vort on the Chumash. We are this final part of our cycle of Shani to Shvi. We'll be doing Shvi of Zos HaBracha. And this week, uh, in the last Pasuk, we have Perak Lamed Dalad Pasuk Yid Beis. L'chol hayed chazaka, l'chol hamorah hagadola, sh'asa Moshe le'enei kal Yisrael. So Moshe's final acts, according to Rashi, we're referring here to uh, Leini Kal Yisrael, that Moshe broke the luchos when he saw that the Bnei Yisrael were serving Avodah Zarah. And Hashem said, Yashukachacha, Asher Shibarta, it's a good thing that you uh, did this because uh, it was necessary. Not every leader is willing to risk breaking up their life's work, but Moshe Rabbeinu was, that's a sign of his leadership. On the other hand, uh, Pnina Melatora brings down Rebel Yashiv, uh, that he says, well, why would we want to be concluding the whole Sefer Torah with something negative about Israel that they sinned with the Egel Hazav? So Rabbi Yashav says, I'm sorry, Rabbi Shlomo Zalmar Abrach says, no, in fact, this is not a negative of B'nai Israel. It's actually a big praise of theirs. Because Moshe Rabbeinu was saying that Torah, which is so great, if the B'nai Israel aren't worthy of it, then there's no point in Torah. Without the B'nai Israel, Torah is not valuable in and of itself. So that is a level of praise for the Bnei Yisrael. We see something similar by Karbonos of Pesach, that if all the people in the party are, are, are become Tameh, then that Korban Pesach is no longer good and it's not used. So what we're saying here is that if the Bnei Yisrael are not worthy of the Torah, there's no point in the Torah. And he brings another point that, uh, that supports this, that you know the shivrei luchos, the broken part of the luchos, where were they put? They were put in the holy of holies. Now normally we say in katega nasa sneger. If it's something that an accusing item, uh, a prosecutor does not become the defense attorney. So why would we put such a uh, incriminating item in for eternity? So he answers no, because it's not an incriminating item. It's saying Hashem gave atonement for bnei Yisrael, and if it wasn't for the bnei Yisrael being learning the Torah and being worthy of Torah, there was no point to the Torah. Now I'd like to go to, uh, since we're supposed to start, we'll go to the end and, and switch over to the beginning. So it's the Enei Kal Yisrael, Bereshis Bar Lakim. The Chavetz Chaim Ala Torah says that uh, just like the Torah was bore, was created before the world was created, also the Neshamos of the Sadikim were created beforehand. And uh, and we can see an allusion to this because it's, when it says the Enei Kal Yisrael, well, the Talmud Chachamim are often called the Enei Ha'eda, the Enei Yisrael. They're the eyes of the people. They see what we needs to be seen. So that's what it's referring to. The Enei Kal Yisrael, before the eyes of Yisrael, Bereshis Bar Elohim, because they were created before Hashem created the world. That's a proof that the Neshamas of the Sadiqim came beforehand. So thank you for listening. I really appreciate you taking the time every week, or as often as you can, listening to the short vort. And I hope that you'll be around to listen to... Uh, the next project, you can contact me at devarman2 at yahoo.com. I'm Ephraim Levy, and uh, you can also subscribe to the Devarman2 on Facebook and the Yahoo groups. And uh, we'll see what the next project is. Take care. Have a, a good jar, a Chag uh, Sameach, and Kol Tov.